Okay, so I have this computer that I made a while back, um, and it's pretty much a PCB version of Ben Eater's 8-bit computer. Um, and I tried to structure it the same way that he had his, where you know you have A register, ALU, B register, output control, and control signals on the right side, and then the clock module, memory address register, RAM, instruction register, and control unit on the left side. Um, the only difference is I had to put the bus up here just because I didn't have enough room like on the side. Um, but it pretty much works the same way. So let's get this powered up and I'll sort of walk through a demonstration program. Okay, so I just powered this up. So there's really no instructions or data, or there is data and instructions in the RAM, but it's just not you know anything that we programmed in there. It's just sort of random. So if I run the clock, you can see that it's just, you know, running whatever is in RAM at the moment. But let's go ahead and stop the clock and restart it and sort of program it. Um, the program that I'm using is the one that Ben used. It's pretty much just a program that counts by threes and outputs the value into the display. So I'll put this in write mode. So the first command is load immediate. So we're gonna load a value of three into the A register. So that's gonna go at memory location zero. And the opcode for that is 0101. Zero, one. And then the operand is 0011. Zero, zero, one, one. Okay, and then I'm gonna write that in there. So then I'm gonna to go to memory value, memory address one and that is the store command. So we're gonna store the value in the A register to memory location 15. So that is gonna be 01001111. Gonna write that in there. So then we're gonna to go to memory address two, and that's gonna be load immediate uh, zero. So we're going to load zero into the A register. Okay, and then now we're going to go to memory address three, and that is we're gonna write the add command. So that's gonna add whatever is in memory location 15 to whatever value is in the A register. So that is gonna be 0010. One, 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 one. Okay. Um, then we're going to output whatever is in the A register to the output display. So that is going to be in memory location four. And then that's going to be one, 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 zero, 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 zero. We're going to write that. And the last command is the jump instruction. So that's gonna to jump to memory location 15, which is the add command. And it's gonna add whatever values in memory location, or sorry, it's gonna to jump to memory location three and add whatever values in memory location 15. So that's going to be 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 we're going to program that. Okay, so our program and our data is all loaded into memory. So I'm going to take this out of write mode. I'm going to restart it. And let's see if this works. Okay, yeah, so it looks like it's not adding anything like the display. The display is still reading zero. And I've had this issue before. And what I found is that whatever I programmed into RAM gets overwritten for some reason. So, okay, so looks like that is right. That's right. That's right.
Okay, so memory location four should actually be one 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 zero 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 zero. I'm gonna write that in there, and let's just check memory location five. Okay, and then five should actually be zero one one zero 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 one one. And I think the reason has to do with the fact that this um, this write button doesn't have a pull down resistor or a pull up resistor. So that's one of the flaws that I sort of had early on, which which is not adding that pull up resistor in there. But I could always go to the back and just solder it on there. But let's see if this works. All right, I'm going to restart it and run the clock. Okay, so it's still not working. What's going on? Oh, this is still in write mode. Okay, so I'll restart it and then run the clock. Okay, there we go. So you can see that the output is counting by threes and we can slow this down. And we can speed it up. You can see it even has, um, it even displays negative values, but we can take it out of negative mode. And it counts up to 255. There we go. You can stop the clock and single step through each command. There we go. Here's a high level overview of the board and you can click on any module and it will give you routing details about how all those components are routed together. Here's the data write button for the RAM and this is probably where I should have added that pull up resistor to avoid that issue that I had earlier. If you look closely you'll notice that um, this clear input and this clear input, um, they're not actually connected together. So I should have actually routed this up and then brought it back down up to this point. And I did have an issue with that at the beginning, but I ended up soldering a, a physical wire between these two points here on the back of the PCB and that ended up fixing the issue. But yeah, I had a lot of fun making this um, and I learned a lot about computers and PCB design. And if you want to make this yourself, I have all the files in my GitHub, which is in the description, so you can check that out. Thanks for watching.